Join us in today's video as we misuse a barbecue to try cooking things like water bottles and water balloons. What you doing, Nate? I'm juggling some water bottles, which is something we're going to be using in today's experiment in it front is. of these barbecues. It's true. Or I guess if you want to get really particular, these are grills. They're used for fast and quick cooking not long and slow cooking. Uh, we have one that's pretty much lived its entire life. This grill is five, six years old and the bottom is starting to rust right out. Uh, this grill is much nicer and newer, but we've got some experiments we wanna try that involve grilling not your normal fare. It's not even food, really. Guys, in the past, you have actually seen us boil water in a wooden bowl. You can also do this in a paper bowl, but we wanna see what happens if you try and boil plastic. Doesn't work. But we want to see. Here's the basic idea. We're going to try putting some water bottles and water balloons on a barbecue, sometimes not full of water. First off, I think we need a side-by-side -side comparison. You have some water bottles here, just regular store-bought water bottles, but I want to show the difference between trying to put a paper cup on a fire and a plastic cup full of water and show what the difference is. Then we'll scale it up. Let's take some charcoal out of our good barbecue, move it over to our less good barbecue, heat that up, and then use both a plastic and paper cup full of water to see how they react differently on our grill. Paper cup and plastic cup. Now it is possible to boil water in a paper cup. Plastic, not quite the same. The top of the plastic cup is melting and curling, yep. and I think we're getting a little bit of dripping off of that. The bottom of the paper cup, there's that ridge that's not mm -hmm. really in contact with any water, and I'm just worried that that might burn in like tip but so far so good yep that's warm there goes our plastic cup yep, structural integrity of the side has been lost it melted right through there well it didn't like melt it, it, a it hole sticks. in it it just got so soft that it can't hold the water anymore yep so the water will boil at 212 degrees once that starts happening the water will evaporate away when that happens the paper will burn until then however the paper is going to stay in place the plastic as you can see just sort of melts away. I think we even are getting some hot water. We in the are, it's cup. warm. It's, it's I, yeah. quite hot, but the cup itself is just losing integrity so much yep. that you can't hold it forever. Can you boil water in a plastic bottle? This is exactly how you're supposed to grow water bottles. Yep. Should we add some more coals? Do you think we can actually is, get the water to boil? Is this collapsed then? from the heat? Yes, it wasn't full of water, it was intact. The integrity of the bottle had not been compromised. Paper cup is getting close to boiling. Yep, there we go. Much, much faster and much easier than it was when we attempted to boil water in our wooden bowl. It took forever and like really, really high heat to go anywhere. But we do have boiling water in our paper cup now. The cup itself can technically catch fire now up until where that water is. I've had times where I tried to boil water in a cup, but it was like a much bigger fire mm -hmm. and it burned away the top of the cup down to the water level. Yep. There you go. A little bit of steam. You do have some bubbles. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, well, I We're think that's it. boiling, but the bottle's also dying. But we did get it to boil. It is boiling. Boiling water is too hot. The <laughs> bottle, bottle can't take it. <laughs> can you boil water in a water bottle? For a second. For a second, you can. You absolutely can. The bottle can. loses integrity at boiling. Oh my gosh, this bottle is super soft now. That's a nightmare. You know what we have to try now, right? A sealed bottle. All right, so we've seen water boil in a paper cup. We've seen it boil in a plastic cup and in a plastic water bottle. Now we're going to try and see if it'll work if it's sealed. What do you think? We actually gonna... get boiling water in the plastic cup. I think we got hot water and then the cup just was like, ah, I'm out. <laughs> That's true. It could have gotten hot enough, but the structural integrity did not last. Water bottle, however, did work. So, sealed Barely. water. Barely. Right it... as it hit boiling, it was like, I'm boiling. Gone. Now we've got a water bottle and we're not going to open this one. We're going to put a sealed water bottle on the grill. And we, uh, we actually have the grill on the charcoal this time. It's not going That's... directly in the charcoal. We're going to see how well this lasts. We're just going to try cooking a water bottle. We're going to try a few other things too while that's going. Is that a water balloon? Yes. I think that that will probably burst and possibly put out the charcoal. Nah, it'll be fine. I admit, I thought that was going to burst like immediately from the hot grill. Don't worry, I have something else we can try. Uh-oh. Oh. And it burst. So it's leaking out the top just a little bit. Yep. I thought the cap might fly off. No. I'm very impressed with my, uh, here, I'm just going to, you know, turn and make sure we get a nice even roast. <laughs> oh. 
awesome. Water balloon exploding looked amazing. All right, I'm gonna roll this because we do. We have these little, little, <laughs> little tiny streams of boiling water. Yeah. Can you grill a water bottle? <laughs> yes. Should you? Absolutely not. What's next? Um, I have something else for you to try. <laughs> Callie has made me nervous, so I'm going to drop this balloon to, with a shovel. Okay. Let's let's explain. I handed him a water balloon. It is absolutely not full of water. It seems mostly full of air. Yeah. But I think I felt a little bit of liquid rumbling around in there. Sure. So we're just gonna throw some glasses on here. And... Calmer than I expected. There we go. That's better. Oh, it's oh backing a up. Lot. Backing up. And <laughs> it went. So it turns out that last water balloon was full of aerosolized hairspray. You're welcome. And uh, we're gonna do another one in our other barbecue. We're just gonna drop it right in there so it's not on the grill, it just goes straight onto the coals. Go for it. There's not a lot of noise, but it's just kind of fun to watch. So water balloons full of aerosol hairspray. Something that you can do, maybe you shouldn't. For our next trick, I got this for you. All right, well, <laughs> How about, to give me my uh, gift as it were, you go and lightly set it on top of yeah, the grill. Yeah, right. all you ready? Uh-huh. Cool, everybody back away. Back away more. That water bottle is collapsing a little bit. Just a little, that's fine. Don't even worry about it. I'm standing behind you. I see flames. That's cool. You'll notice that that's not what the normal water bottles did. Normal water bottles made the less flame <laughs> effect. So this is a water bottle full of, I'm guessing, lighter fluid. Yeah, there is no water bottle left. It, it is gone. There's some little, there's like some bubbling plastic right in there. But that's it. There's you, not you a would lot not of mass to, to a water bottle. You would not be able to tell that there had been a water bottle there though. Not really, no. No, I'm thrilled. You can put water in a paper cup and you can have it boil. I wanna know if we put lighter fluid in there if the heat's gonna transfer through or if it can hold it before it lights on fire. Can I make a prediction? Yeah. It's gonna light on fire. <laughs> it's gonna light on fire so fast. <laughs> That's slider fluid. I'm not saying that this is a smart idea and I am in no way endorsing this or saying that you should try this at home. We simply wanna know what will happen. All right, okay, we're good. It's on fire. It's on fire. That was very, very quick. Yeah, it didn't take any time at all. Was there any lighter fluid like spilled on the outside of it? No, no, I was pretty careful. Oh, now more fire. But look, but look the bottom of the cup is staying. The it part is, of the cup that's full of liquid it is. is not burning up with the rest of the cup. That makes me so happy. So there is still liquid in there and that is kind of what I wanted to test. That is lighter fluid. It is a flammable liquid, but the cup itself is not burning because it's still in there and that's awesome. While that's going, I'm just gonna toss this in there with it. Just another hairspray. Water blue. Oh, never mind. Look at that. It's, you know, burning out the bottom. I don't know if you guys know this, but that's not what your barbecue is supposed to do. <laughs> nice throw. <laughs> this balloon is full of butane gas. We're gonna see what happens if I drop this down into our grill. Ooh, Ooh, louder pop. Slightly, yeah, slightly like sharper popping sound. There was no liquid. With the hairspray, there's little bits of liquid inside and that sprays out and then ignites. We've seen in the slow motion it does, like you can see it spray out and then it all ignites pretty quick. Uh, the butane, it's just gas, and so it probably does the same thing. You can't see any of that liquid spraying out. Overall, I think that the hairspray is actually giving us better flames, uh, probably because of the spread Don't worry, the I'm making more. And we're making more. <laughs> there are very few things that I've been quite so happy about. Three, two, one.
Guys, that was super weird, but you know, we've always got more for you to see. If you want to see that, click that box up at the top. Nate?